Hey everybody, welcome out to the Halloween episode of Let's Play Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. This has been Mezex Games, and I'm welcoming you out. I've got my Great Scythe, and I'm wearing the uh, black gold-hemmed robes set. Uh, Halloween-y, yes? Even my feet look skeleton-y because I'm undead. It's perfect. It's perfect. Truly. But in this episode, we're going to be tackling Sen's Fortress, which can be hard if you don't know what you're doing, but it's really not all that bad, in my opinion. Uh, I know a lot of people have, like, struggle with sends, but once you know what you're doing, it's not too bad at all. Uh, first thing is these snake guys have a ton of defense. You're pretty much going to have to backstab them. I don't really know the range of a backstab with this weapon. I do know that it has a metric crap ton of range and everything, but the backstab, though, so. Uh, there's one. He's had to have most of his HP. Let's just finish him off, and we can get this guy. With a not backstab. We can outrange the man serpents, so that's something to consider with our great scythe. And still a brave warrior. We Um Great Scythe is rather large. Has a rather big hitbox, so there is something to think about. This part's not too bad if you keep in mind that there is a snake wizard up there who is going to cast magics at you. So just plan your movement accordingly. Get backstabbed. Off the ledge. Thank you, good night. Um, now in a lot of places and cases, you can run through sends without ever dying, and without ever getting knocked by a blade. It's not that long, and it's actually a rather easy dungeon once you know where you're going. Uh, I'd, I'd honestly say that right here and one other part with the Magic Snake guy are the two hardest parts in the game. Or, not in the game, in Sens. Because you can <laughs> roll past all the traps immediately after activating them to avoid any damage from that. Anyways, there's some large Titanite Shards in case we hadn't plus 10 our Great Scythe. And uh, right here is a shortcut I like to do. It's not really something that you're supposed to be able to do. But uh, you can do it if you really want. Just gotta wake this guy up, preferably with a nice little punch, and get him to break the wall. It's pretty easy, and it saves you a lot of time later. I'm gonna stab this guy right into the pit. Yep, right into the pit. <laughs> but uh, right over here we have Big Hat Logan, who's a pretty awesome character, actually. Um, I'm gonna set him free. Hi, Logan. Yes, I know. Um... So we've rescued Logan. We're going to use our master key here. And we're going to get a soul of a hero. Yay, soul of a hero. Um, so that's pretty much all we needed to do down here. And believe it or not, we're actually pretty close to the end of Sen's Fortress. Uh, right? Or at least the inside of Sen's Fortress. Like I said, this is a pretty cl like small dungeon once you know where you're going. Let's wait for the boulder to get this guy. He's not dead yet. But uh, maybe we can dead angle him. Make him a little bit more dead. Kind of. Give him a nice little cut on the face. And then, as soon as that boulder rolls by, you've got to go. You've got to go. I don't trust I'll have enough time to make it. Just gonna wait with our great scythe out, looking like a boss. Okay, I'm gonna run up through here. And give this guy a nice little jumping attack, followed by the R1. Um, now this contains the Ring of Steel Protection, which is one of my favorite rings. It's really nice for, uh, like, you know, weak builds. Builds without much, uh, defense, defensive capabilities. Right over here is a Shotel, which is a pretty neat weapon. I like to ascend this one to Lightning, um, so we can hit behind shields and do high damage with it. Because it's not a very strong curved sword, but it's an option. And, oh my god. Oh my god. And here is Onion Bro. Mm hmm hmm. Forgive me, I was absorbed in thought. My ball, to be precise, is sitting quite a pickle, weighing my option. Bah ha ha ha. So, basically, what he said is he can't run past the ball. He's too fat. So, uh, we're gonna have to fix that for him, aren't we? Basically, as soon as you see the ball run past, you can just go straight up here and just wait it out. And it'll pass us again. We So, now we just go straight over here. And then we go through the fog. We uh, now in this room, 
Make sure you roll out of the way here, because there is a trap which will hit the snake man pretty good. And then try to avoid getting hit by that. That's pretty much poop. And just give him a nice little backstab, and he's dead. He dropped an item. I didn't know they even did drop items. Oh, I got a man serving great sword, actually. That's pretty nice. Um, I'm actually going to wait it out, because I do not trust that the ball will leave us alone for long enough. Do you like my retextured great scythe, by the way? I got it a texture, and now it looks pretty. Before it just sort of looked like a gardening hoe, but now it looks like an actual weapon. But uh, what we do here is we wait right here for the balls to roll past. And you see they're filling up a hole right there. Um, that actually matters, because that's how you get the gold serpent ring, which is a pretty nice ring if, you li if you're into that sort of thing. Ow. Sorry about that, I found a bag of crackers next to me, and I was like, mmm, crackers. Uh, but you just wait for it to fill up. I believe this will fill it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so that fills it. I'm going to wait for one more ball to roll down past and break down the wall. Uh, beam! So we broke down the wall, and we got to grab this, and we got to go. we got to get the heck out of Dodge. Here comes the ball. Ah! Close one. But we made it. And right here is a mimic who is pretty easy to see. I kind of wish they didn't. They made some of the mimics a little bit more hidden, you know. So that was just um. This gets us a lightning spear, which is a pretty nice weapon. Uh, it's a uh, basically just a plus ten spear, which you with lightning ascension. So it's like it's pretty good. You can use that on a like a low stat build and you'll do perfectly fine. Um, let me actually check how much it does. Yeah, lightning spear, 144 with 144. No scaling, 10 and yeah. It's 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 a good option. It it actually is a pretty good option. Uh, but then we just got to run right up here. I'm pretty sure the ball doesn't hit you. Yeah, the ball doesn't even come close to you. And I always turn it out to face this way and just go straight out the door. Right out the door. Yep. Um, now from Hugh... God, that's not the right way. <sighs> uh, let's see if I can find the right way. Ah, oh, here it is. Now from this way, you can fall down onto this platform here, which uh, has a snake guy and an item. Snake guy takes two hits with a great scythe, plus ten. And you gotta pick up that item. And you can run through here. And here is the black sorcerer set with the sorcery hush. It also activates a shortcut. Kind of. Kind of a shortcut. Gets back up there relatively safely. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And then right here is where we need to go to continue. We continue. Right through here you gotta jump at the very last second or get nailed. I got nailed. Uh, both both are valid options actually. In my opinion, I'm losing my voice. That's not good. Why do I always lose my voice when recording? Is it just like a like it? It, it, it must be a thing. It must be a thing. Uh, but you gotta run through here. You gotta haul like, your butt the heck out of there. Anyways, here's this guy. I do not like this position for a snake guy at all. It's pretty mean. But our 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 sight's pretty strong. So and we're gonna two hand this thing. No, two handed smash. Yeah, the two-handed jumping is really good. And run over this way, we have a thing, I believe. Yep. Hello, dude. How are you today? Wanna give me a parry? Parried. And riposte. So that's a large titanite shard. It's pretty good. I'm not sure how you'd manage to, like, slash this into someone. It's, it's not exactly sharp on the top. More of a poker on the top, but, uh... Yeah. Anyways, um... I do not like this part at all. You gotta, like, try and find a spot where you can shoot him with arrows, but he can't hit you with lightning. And it's really rather irritating. Right here works. <laughs> Once. But once you find it, spam arrows. Don't let him throw that lightning, because it's going to hurt. You can maybe knock him off the cliff if you're lucky. 
I usually don't get... Ah, I did get lucky. All right. But if you knock him off, you can take your time here. Just walk as slow as you'd like. It's not a big dealio. Then you gotta get to the middle and you gotta sprint. You can see how much damage those do, considering this is a 95% physical blocking shield. I don't know why I came over here. Usually I just come over there to kill the snake guy, but didn't even have to. Anyways, um... And for this, we just gotta run straight up as fast as possible. We And we're in Upper Sens Fortress. Hurrah! Now, uh, Upper Sens is quite a bit easier. This is where I like to do most of my invasions when I'm Dark Wraithing. I Dark Wraith at around level 35, if you're interested, playing on PC version. Um, but I just like to rest at this bonfire and kindle. So that's what we're gonna do next. You don't really need to kindle here, but it certainly makes it a bit easier. Anyways... So we got that kindled. We kindled! And now we're gonna go back this way, actually. Past all these deadly traps and whatnot. Um, and we're gonna jump right down here, actually. Crazy as it sounds. This is where we're supposed to go. Yes, yes it is. So just take an Estus and the snake guy will eventually follow you, I'm sure. Oh god, there's two of them. Did not expect that. Anyways, one of them is dead, so that should make it a bit easier. And I've... I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh my god. Mm, oh god, he came down with me. Let me load. Stunlock. 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 Mmm. Sexy. Anyways, uh, huh, no, eh, okay, we're gonna have to bone more tome. Oh god, only two bone more tomes, that's so sad. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Don't let me forget, guys, if I forget to buy bone more tomes, I'm gonna be mad at you, all of you. You are, you are the cause of my problems. Anyways, we're just gonna do that again. But it's not a big deal. We... Land on your face. How are you today? Just gonna roll through here, roll through here. Take my Estus. And now you're dead. Let's see how well that works out. Anyways, what I wanted to do. Oh, psh, snake guy, what did you just do? Silly snake guy. Anyways, from here you can jump down to the tar pits. Um. Which wouldn't be a terrible option. Like, it's where you get some of the stuff. But right there is the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring, which is the only reason I came down here. Uh, now there's no way for me to get back up without Homeward Boning, actually. I don't think so. Let me... Maybe there is a way to get back up. Let me check. Um... I remember coming down here before. I just don't remember what to do from here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I don't know where I am. It's not worth it. We're just gonna bone word home. Use our item. Actually, we're gonna run out of the way first. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, remind me to buy <laughs> bone word homes when I get the chance, cause we're out and that's bad. You don't want to be out of bone word homes. Okay. Uh, anyways, now we're gonna actually continue with Upper Sense Fortress, like we should have before. Um, but upper sends can be a bit scary, because there's a giant lobbing fireballs at you. Very big ones, by the way. They're not tiny fireballs. They're rather... They're, they're, um... I'd relate them to a Chaos Great Fireball by 10, maybe. It's a little bit frightening. And we just hit over his shield, because we don't give a crap about his life at all, ever. So, that's good to know. Anyways, here's this guy. Give him a nice little parry and thrust in the chest. He enjoyed it. Mmm, kinky. Anyways. I will be down shortly. And you got the flame plate ring right there. That's pretty good. We can use that. And then we gotta run up here. Wee! Running up here, running up here, yeah. Anyways, this is the scary part. Well. Yeah, we're gonna get this first. Um, you can actually do is you can run from the like staircase and off of there and stuff to get that jump. Oh god. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. It's over. Never mind, I'm alive amazingly. But yeah, we're not gonna have time to do a fancy jump anymore. 
So we're just running. We're going. Screw the rules. Hopefully he wants to throw another one down there. Yes, he does. So that'll give us just enough time to run and pick this up. Large little brave warrior. We, we. I'm gonna run out for that. And this is a large ten natural times two. We. Run away at that. And now we're safe. Yay. Safety is good. Anyways, right here is a giant knight guy. Who we will fail to parry and almost die from. Oh dear God! Leave me alone, sir. And there's my parry, which you can proceed to punish pretty well. Ow. Yeah. That's why I wanted to do it. Not get smashed by a lance repeatedly, but uh, it happens. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Trust, trust. I'm not mad. Shh, shh. Go to bed. Anyways, um, so right over here, this is gonna be good old Baller Ricard, mm, baby. This guy's pretty awesome. I like Baller Ricard a lot. He has a lot of poise, um, so he can tank a lot of hits, and his rapier does a surprisingly high amount of damage for a rapier. And he does know how to parry, by the way. Although my, I, I just kind of outranged him and that worked pretty well. But he drops their cards rapier, which is arguably the best rapier in the game. It gets an A scaling and dex at plus 14 and 15, and 70 base damage with, you know, the standard thrusting sword crit boost, along with the fact that it at attacks really fast. Here, I'll actually show off its moveset a little bit. Um, yeah, our card, yeah. Um, you need 20 dex time, one off, but as you see, it's two-handed as fast, it's one-handed as fast, and then it's... <laughs> R2 is retardedly fast. Like, that's two attacks right there. Just yoink, yoink, no, 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 yoink, yoink. It, it, it's it's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of damage. It's a pretty good weapon. I like it. I use it in uh, a lot of my builds. I might use it in this build. I'm not sure. Probably not. Uh, we'll see. We'll see, guys. Calm, calm. Shh, shh. Are you, are you calm yet? Okay. Shh. I know. Listen to me. You're beautiful, and I love you. Okay. Anyways, let's just continue on. Mm, food smells really good, but I'm recording, and I am dedicated. Hmm, <laughs> dedication. But yeah. Uh, let's ride over here. This is a jump you should try and make first time. Yep, you just gotta wait till the very end and jump towards that corner, and you'll make it. It's pretty easy, and we're actually not gonna pick up a baller shield. I thought we were going to. Actually, screw it. Yeah, we are. I'm buying one. There we go. I bought it. I bought it. I did it. Yell at me if you want. I don't care. Anyways, uh, we're just gonna buy a few more arrows. That many more. Yeah. And, uh, we don't need either of those rings. We don't need these either. So we're we okay. Cause, yeah. Um, but here is a room I almost always fall and die in for no apparent reason. This is not even hard to, like, not fall here, but whatever. Anyways, um, it's gonna continue on through. Yep, all the way to the bottom. This is where you get the key that activates a shortcut back down to the beginning and just dodge his lightning, two hand and kill him. Takes away exactly half of his health with the first hit. So that's pretty good. Uh, he's ragdolling all over me. Gross. Um, so we just run up here. We running up here. Yeah. Don't fall down while you're running up, because that would be bad. By the way, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've done that. You don't. Uh, don't be like me's. Learn. Learn. Learn more than me's. Anyway, so we're just going to try and make this jump again. We're probably not going to. Oh my god, we did. But it doesn't matter, because we're going to jump down anyways. Whee! So right here is the sniper crossbow, which is pretty good. Uh, if you like crossbows, you're probably going to like the sniper crossbow. It has a lot of range, but unfortunately you still need to be targeted on. It just means it has a higher effective range. So there you go. Um, yep. So I'm just going to run back up through here. Have you noticed my great scythe doesn't really seem to have a shadow? Or at least not the handle. Oh, yes it does. It just didn't have a shadow before because the angle I was sitting at. But um, as long as you keep running, he'll never hit you with a fireball. He only hit us with a fireball because we were being dumb. Yeah, we're pretty dumb. Anyways, just keep running. He'll be out of the way. He'll be out of the equation here shortly. Anyways, here's a rapier boulder. So watch out for him. They can parry, remember. So watch out for that. Um, he 
didn't, but they can. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and right over here, I don't remember. Maybe nothing. Yeah, nothing. Anyways, uh, so that's not a big deal. Anyways, so here's the cage, which is the shortcut, which is the most OP thing in history. So we're just gonna take it down and then take it back up. Ow. I wasn't very kind. Anyways. So that's that. So now we have this shortcut activated. As you see, the other the other one is down. So we'll be okay. Um, oh my god, camera almost killed me. Anyways, up here is the flat of steps, which you gotta go up. And as you can see, we're awfully high up. So you don't want to fall. And there's a sniper up there who will hurt you physically. So you don't want to do that. Stroll dodge that. And nice. Ooh, two Titanite shards. That's not bad. Anyways, right up here you have the giant who is making your life miserable with those firebombs. What you gonna do is you're gonna walk out, dodge any of the punches he throws, just get behind him and wail away with your weapon. As you see, he can bleed, which makes the Great Scythe rather effective for him. Don't get grab punched. That hurts pretty good. We missed that. We roll dodge that one. Yep. So he's not hard. We didn't even have to do the whole stampede. Hey, some guy invaded me. Alright, let's see if we can actually win this time. Usually we lose, but we can try. Right? Yeah. Just gonna wait up here. We're not really set up for PvP right now. We may want to consider, uh... No, we don't even have a target shield. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Grass Crush will work fine, we'll get some Stam Regen. We don't have very much HP, so we're going to have to watch out for our posts and backstabs. That's going to be a big deal. Um, but, you know how it is. Do do do, just going to smash these. Smashing big balls, mmm, baby. Yep, uh, so we smashed big balls. That was pretty fun. Shall we seek him out, or shall he seek out us, I wonder? There he is. Oh, God. So, just gonna bow. Hello. Okay, he's bowing as well, so we're gonna go up here. Just where there's a little bit more room to fight. Ah, he pumped power within, eh? That's cool. I have pyromancies. And I'm not all that afraid of his giant axe. Which he cannot one-hand anyways. So just gonna punish that a little bit. Get behind him. Oh, Jesus, that's ascended lightning. We tried. We almost got him. It's not a big deal. You can have our pity and some souls. We don't want it. It's not a big deal. Anyways, uh, so the firebomb guy's dead. I don't know why I keep eating these. I shouldn't. Firebomb guy is dead, so everything I was hard about this place before is gone. There we go, let's just run up and swarm in Tarkus and get the boss over with. You know how it is. Uh, note, this firebomb guy never responds, however that guy down there who drops the boulders does. Uh, you can kill him repeatedly if you want, you get, uh, Chunk sometimes. He's not 100% drop, but the guy up there is. Um, so yeah, there's always that to remember. Mm. Yeah, so there's that. And then... You just gotta do the standard run-through <laughs> of standard run-through plus two, you know? I could tell he wanted to Aveline me, the one invader. And that's what I really wanted to avoid, because the Aveline hurts, in case you don't know. Oh, he dropped another hand. 10 short times 1 that time. Not a bad deal. Um, yeah, Aveline hurts. Don't want to get hit by it, especially not a, uh, you know, power within Aveline. That would not feel good at all. But um, he had a Lightning Ascended Great Axe, 
which he popped power within on a two-handed. He probably had min stat requirements and buffed everything into endurance and whatnot. Uh, it's not a terrible idea. It's not a terrible idea. Um, in fact, it probably went pretty well for him. As you saw in the beginning, he tried to smush us as soon as the match started with that one smash attack, but we uh, uh, we backed off and bowed and he bowed and it was all good. Um, anyways, so we got Tarkus, we got our souls, we got our humanity. Let's just go. We have no humanity. What am I talking about? Anyways, through the moss fog. Come, Tarkus. But yeah, this boss is pretty easy. Uh, that's honestly one of the hardest things to avoid about the boss. You can throw some pyromancies at him if you'd like. It does not very much damage at all. Um, you can pop some power within while Tarkus fights him. You know. You know the whole drill. But yeah, just go through his legs to Andrew up and hit him with some damage. Dodge that grab or just be like me and get hit by it. Please don't instant kill me. Ow, dear God, leave me alone. Get him, Tarkus. Get him, Tarkus. Get him, Tarkus. Be a, be a, be a hero. Tarkus, don't just stand there. But yeah, uh, this guy's... He's not hard. You just gotta go through his legs. Gets used to fighting um, the mobs in Anne Rolando. He just stepped on my head and it hurt a lot. Well, kind of. Yeah, just gotta get used to... um. Can't uh, can't attack him when he's doing that, so we may as well just get our pyromancies ready. Note to self... No, no, note to everyone, actually. Pyromancies get a buff from Power Within, and we're out of that, so there you go. Um, yeah, Pyromancies get a buff from Power Within, as does everything. It's just 50% extra damage, that's just how it works. <sighs> so uh, as you can see, this guy's going down pretty easy. We, we, get, we staggered him, he's dead. He's dead. Targus, come on, get the kill. Get the kill, Targus. Get, get, you got this, Targus, come on. You got this, Targus. You got this, Targus. Yeah, Targus. Yeah, Targus. Yeah, Targus. Yeah, Targus. Mmm, baby. Anyways, we got the core of the Iron Golem and a metric crap ton of souls, as well as a boneward home. So that's good. We're not going to bone home this time, since it'd be faster to walk. But we'll be doing everything that I plan to do for the next episode. In the next episode, whenever that comes out. Uh, let's just let our power within wear off before we heal. Shouldn't be lasting too much longer. <laughs> and power within is off. This has been the Halloween episode of Dark Souls, very festively dressed up as the Grim Reaper. And in the next episode, we'll be ascending our pyromancy flame and tackling the beast that is Anne Orlando. Bye, everyone.